Just in time for the London Olympics, we have new research tonight on those sports drinks that are turning up all over the games and the advertising. The drink makers spend billions of dollars a year promoting their products to those of us who are casual athletes. But how much difference do they make if you're not training at Olympic levels? ABC's Jim Avila is tonight's consumer watchdog. It's the official Olympic sports drink. Aggressive product placement puts Coca-Cola's Powerade in the hands of America's biggest Olympian stars, from Michael Phelps to NBA Olympian Chris Paul. An essential part of my game. Know the science. Science, it's essential to the marketing in the $7 billion worldwide sports drink game. 40 years of hydration science in every bottle. But just as the Olympic Games began in London, a reality check from a group of researchers at England's prestigious Oxford University. They've used a lot of industry-sponsored scientists to do the research, which makes us suspicious to begin with. In fact, these MDs and clinical scientists say they couldn't find specific backing for much of sports drink advertising, and much of what they could find they characterize as flawed science. We find much of the science has not been done well. Many nationally known nutritionists are critical of sports drinks because they have little special benefit for casual athletes that work out less than two hours a day. And most contain sugar, so should not be routinely given to children. The sports drinks are grossly oversold by the companies that make them. Uh, kids all over the place, teenagers especially, are drinking these things like crazy when they don't really need them. The beverage industry and the scientists they directed us to tell ABC News the Oxford study overlooks science that proves sports drinks provide carbohydrate energy and hydration, which are necessary for an athlete's overall health. Sports nutritionist Karen Dolans at Columbia University has accepted speaking fees from Gatorade. So does the fact that a company is paying for research on itself disqualify that research? I don't believe it does. The sad state of affairs is that where else are you going to get funding from? You're not going to get large NIH grants to study sports nutrition issues. The reality check say Oxford researchers, good for the Olympian is not necessarily good for the rest of us, especially children. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington.